All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here tonight, and it's time to show you another Guangxin watch from GearBest. Now, I know I just did one of these, like, just a few days ago, it seems like, and I did, but I actually had two Guangxin coming from GearBest, and I was really excited about both of them. This one, they're calling a dual calendar watch with a, a tourbillon style, or I call it an open heart. It's not really a tourbillon style movement design, but very nicely done. Automatic watch, as you guys can tell. Over there on the right-hand side of the dial, you guys have the day of the week. Over on the left-hand side here, you guys have a sub-dial that keeps track of the date of the month. So very cool. Down at the bottom, you do have this open heart design that I think is kind of cool because if you take a look at that flywheel there ticking around, you can almost use that to keep track of a seconds count, even though this does not have a running second hand. So taking a close look at the dial, guys, as you guys can tell, there's a lot of detail done on the dial. You have almost this texturing down here. Down at the bottom indicates a 24 joule movement. Over here, of course, indicating that it's automatic. This watch does have loom on it. I will get a loom shot up at the very end. There is loom on the hands for the uh, day of the week, also the date. Also, you guys can see these little square kind of rectangular loom pips inside the dial, inside around the 12 o'clock ring kind of, uh, which is raised, which I think is a real neat touch. There's actually so many different layers to the dial, but those are also loomed little rectangular pips there at the two, four, eight, and 10 o'clock position. There's one at 10, 10 o'clock, excuse me, just under the tip of the minute hand there. So actually I'll go ahead and pull that out and see if we can't, I know I shouldn't run it backwards, but move it back out of the way there show you that. So applied indices with the Guangxin up there at the top above the 12 o'clock, which is also applied. And you guys can see on the minute track, it also has this raised minute track with these really neat kind of almost BB style bumps at the five minute indicator marks. Texturing on those sub dials for the uh, day of the week and the date of the month, as you guys can see the lines on there. You also have this radial line track around that 12 o'clock dial. So as you guys can see, there's just really a whole lot of texturing and beauty going on in the style. Now, guys, I will admit that I'm not a follower of some of these fancier and more beautiful watches like this. So this is kind of a what you'd call an homage to maybe one of these more high-end, uh, beautiful design watches out there from one of the big makers. Let me know about that down below in the comments. I just might not be aware of that. Case is done in beautiful polishing here. A bezel is polished beautifully and work its way down to this neat, neat coin edge layer they've added here. Rounded, beautifully rounded kind of bulbous case construction here. Nice diving lugs, as you guys can see, and they are stepped at the edges, not just a plain lug. As you guys can see, they step up to the main portion of the lug. You have this pusher here on this side of the dial. That's going to be for, or this side of the case, excuse me, that's going to be for moving your date of the month. And over here, taking a look, you have a little special feature here. We have this jeweled crown. I'm not sure what this is. Most likely some kind of a synthetic crystal of some sort. And what I'm calling a pumpkin style crown, just a beautiful little crown. And with that jewel added on top, it's not quite onion, not quite that uh, oblong enough to be an onion style crown. So I'll call it a little pumpkin crown. Polished case with the extra pusher on the side, of course, for moving that day of the week. Case dimensions on this, you are looking at 41.4 from side to side on the case width. You're looking at a case thickness of 14 millimeters, is what I measured here in the studio, guys. You've got a lug tip to lug tip of 49.3, and you've got a 20 millimeter lug opening. This is going to differ from the case dimensions on the website, so I'm just letting you know what I came up with. So. These watches are available at the GearBest website. As always, guys, down below in the description, hit that little arrow, and you can follow the link to find this watch. The crystal on this watch, they are calling this a synthetic, uh, artificial synthetic sapphire tempered glass. So I'm not really quite sure what that is, to be honest with you. I am getting a uh, hardness tester, so I can actually test for sapphire. I'll be using that when I do the full review of the Star King which you guys can see sitting back there in the background. And I'll probably use that going forward to test these crystals uh, as we move along with watch review. So genuine leather strap on this watch here, as you guys can see in 20 millimeters, long chin. It does have the deployment buckle and it's beautifully polished in stainless steel. Also has the Guanxin laser etched logo there. Now taking a look at the movement on this watch, guys, I'm not really sure what it is. 
but I can tell you it is a very beautiful movement. 24 joules is indicated on the dial, and as you guys can see the skeleton feature there, you can see my finger. Now, getting into the case back, guys, on this, there's a lot of gibberish kind of written on the back here. I have absolutely no idea what this, this you know, down here, Terre Prude means, and this uh, Rio de Stant here, you know. That is not the number that is indicated for this watch on the website, so... Uh, all stainless steel construction and five atmospheres. Five atmospheres is interesting because that would be great for this watch. What's really funny is on the website in multiple places, they say this watch is 100 meters water resistance, which yeah, that's pretty impressive if, if it is. I wouldn't wear it, you know, that deep, but we may just have to test it out here on the OFD channel, throw it in the bottom of the pool and see if it'll make it through that. But I, I actually, I wouldn't do that. It's a pretty watch and I wouldn't do that. So Okay, guys, we're going to pause the camera here and get this watch on the wrist for a wrist check, and then we'll go out with a little bit of a loom shot so you guys can see the loom that's offered on this watch. All right, guys, so here is the watch on my 7-inch wrist. fits very well in that 41.4 millimeter case size and 49 point something lug to lug. It's going to fit me perfectly. It's actually a good size. A little thick on the wrist, but you do have that really nice automatic 24 joule movement in there with that kind of it's not a tourbillon, but uh, this beautiful open heart design, very nicely done. A little bit extra room in there for the complications involved in this watch. So as you guys know, I showed you guys the pushers there on the side of the case. Now this watch does not know the month, so it's not going to know if you have 28 days in a month or 31 days in a month or 30 days. So you will have to adjust that you know, accordingly, but most of the time you'll be able to get that right uh, with the average number of days being in a month. So... All right, guys, we're going to dim the lights and get a uh, loom check on this. Real quick, like I want to show you, it comes with the usual suspect stuff. It's got, you've got your, you know, your instruction manual here. You've got your warranty card here, which is probably not going to be good outside of mainland China, China, excuse me. And they do come with a cleaning cloth. First time I've got yellow, usually I've received the uh, blue or the pink cloth. So, all right, guys, we'll dim the lights and get a loom shot of this beautiful, beautiful uh, Guanxin watch. All right, guys, so I went camping, and uh, in the camping process, I misplaced my Drillmaster flashlight, so we're going to have to use my little uh, little torch here, which is super, super bright, but uh, yeah, I can't find it. Uh, hopefully, he didn't leave it on the mountain, so. All right, guys, so definitely got some bright loom on there. You guys can see those little pips, the 2, 4, 8, and 10 o'clock position glowing, your day of the week, and your date also glowing there. Very nice watch. You can see your hour and your minute indicator tips of the hands there glowing for you guys. Lots of beautiful things going on this watch. Check the description down below. These are available at the GearBest website right now for $134.55. You really do get a lot of watch for the money at that price point. And, uh, you know, it sounds like a watch you can go swimming with and kind of really use for anything, especially if they're staying 100 meters waterproof. So I have not tested that, guys. So Go, you know, I always tell people, check out what they say on their website about the waterproof and what you can do with it before you actually do it. So, all right, guys, that's been the Guanchin GJ16009 from GearBest. Really cool watch. Look at that domed crystal on there. Looks good. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.